Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Tuesday, and today, three more 80s hair metal presets. I have, what do I have? Nothing But a Good Time by Poison. Get It On by Kingdom Come. I don't even care that they ripped off Zeppelin. I love that song. So, and Zeppelin was never my jam as a kid. Uh, it just happened too far in the past for me. I had already heard Van Halen by that point, and I was like, there's no going back. So I don't give a shit about the Beatles. <laughs> uh, anyway, and, uh, shit. Where's the last one? I can't find the last song. Oh, Cherry Pie by Warrant. I have a Cherry Pie story. Hmm. Good stuff. We'll start with that one. Shall we? go everybody three more presets for the 80s hair metal there is a link in the description you can pre-order these um, I'm still working on them so I won't be sending them once you click on the pre-order link uh, I'm gonna work on them through Friday and then on Sunday because I have a gig on Saturday I'm gonna go to the rehearsal room and set the volumes cool and then I'll email them out to everyone that's pre-ordered Sunday night <laughs> um, my warrant story it's not really a warrant story it's a cherry pie story um i was at the oh god i think it was the key club it's either the key club or the roxy in hollywood and it was a, a metal school show they eventually uh, changed the name to steel panther and they used to play every sunday or monday night i think it was monday night and just sell out every monday night for like eight years it was insane and so much fun those gigs were the best but the amount of rock stars that would show up and just get up on stage and jam with them was just phenomenal. Like no one you've ever seen or heard of. It was like the fucking Mike Douglas show every Monday night, but for metal. And on this particular night, uh, Klaus Meine and Rudolf Schenker from the Scorpions got up, did Rock You Like a Hurricane. Uh, Janie Lane and the girl, Bobby Brown, his ex-wife, got up and did Cherry Pie while Gene Simmons and Doc McGee were sitting in the VIP section being mocked by the band and they tried to get Gene up but they couldn't get him up and they started checking their pockets to see how much money they had and they just didn't have enough to get Gene to get off his chair. It was hilarious and so much fun. And the kicker, I was watching that show with Bruce Kulick of KISS. <laughs> he and I were in the balcony uh, just hanging out, 
because he and I used to hang out and uh, uh, it was so bizarre. But uh, I met him at a, at a party, a Halloween party, and we jammed. I played the drums, he played guitar. Joseph Gordon Levitt was on bass. Go figure that shit out. He was like 17 at the time, maybe, maybe less. But uh, yeah, Hollywood was a fucking wild ride, man. That was crazy. But uh, I digress. I don't like to be a name dropper, but I'm just telling you, these, those times were nuts. It was so much fun. Um, but uh, yes, there's a link in the description. You can pre-order these. I will be back tomorrow with a Name That Riff that's going to be part of this. Good stuff. So I won't be doing multiple. Uh, actually, I might do two. I might do one for the uh, 6 o'clock and one for the midnight. So that sounds like a, a plan. Yeah, I'll be doing two Name That Riffs tomorrow. One for the North America, one for the Europeans that get up super early. <laughs> so, I will see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.